My next foray was up Indian Arm. It's a bit too far to swim and there's no roads out there. So I caught a ride with Cove Boat Taxi from Mayoko up to Best Point. They dropped me off in a small bay just south of Best Point. On almost my first dive there, I ran into what appeared to be a nursery for small copper rockfish. I don't think I'd ever seen such a dense population of small copper rockfish. After warming up in the bay for half an hour or so, it was time to head out to the point. One fact about diving Indian Arm in the summer is the omnipresence of large lion's mane jellyfish and their long trailing stinging tentacles. A small current sweeps over Best Point, keeping the rocks clean and fueling the growth of these plumose anemones. Best Point sticks out into the deepest part of Indian Arm, some 200 meters deep. In the past, I've seen quite a few lingcod out here. I'd even seen a fully grown yellow eye rockfish. But today, there didn't seem to be a lot of fish, just this lone painted greenling. Pays to watch where you're going in Indian Arm in the summer. I almost stuck my face right into the tentacles of this lion's mane. After a couple hours of diving, it was time to start heading back to the bay for pickup. Along the way back, I poked my camera down amongst the sargasso weed in the shallows. Here you can see the youngest members of the copper rockfish population. I also found this beautiful bay pipefish. And these mating red rock crabs with the female stroking the male's third maxilliped. And right on time, Cove Boat Taxi showed up to pick me up. Just like that, my dive up Indian arm was over.